factorizing by grouping terms. So we might have to group terms together when we do not have a one fact one common factor for all of them. So we have so first of all I can see this one all of them with x and this one both of them with y. So I take that out and y take out and got b plus c. Now I have a common factor so I'm going to take the b plus c as the common factor and left over x plus y. Sometimes it might require it a few more times. So what I'm going to do is we have a weird example. I got c squared minus x squared plus 6x plus uh, minus 9. All right, so I can see here this is a difference of 2 squared. So I have c squared minus bracket x squared minus 6x plus 3. This is a difference of 2 square here. So I have, oh no, this is a completing square here. So I have x minus 9, uh, x minus 3, all square. And now, after I group the last 3, I will have the difference of 2 square. I have c minus x minus 3 and c plus x minus 3. To make it look nicer, I remove the bracket. And that's how we got it done. Sorry. Forget to smile.